Preparing the strawberry fields of Tangibahoe Parish for those freezing temperatures overnight, how they aren't taking any chances with berries now in full production. Paul Murphy reports from Corona Farms in Independence. The strawberry fields of Tangibahoe Parish are full of fresh berries ready to be picked. I don't know if it's our growing techniques or the soil or whichever it is, but nobody makes a strawberry taste like we do here in Tangibahoe Parish. Dale and Matthew Corona spent the morning tending to their 15-acre strawberry farm in Independence. They are also keeping an eye on the weather forecast, which calls for freezing temperatures overnight. This morning, we picked a few strawberries and then we, we went on to uh, protecting, so we got the cover spread out. By nightfall, the entire farm will be covered by a special material that holds in the heat. Depending on the conditions, 8 to 12 degrees is what, what each cover will get. When we expect an extreme temperature is below 20, we will put another layer of cover on at that point. But tonight, it's minimal. Minimal, but necessary. The Coronas have a lot invested in their berry crop. We'll be picking about five to 700 flats a day. Here, we, we kind of count the, the flats, the boxes, kind of see how many is uh, getting put on the truck every day. All good? Yep, all good. Beth Ciampa pulled up for a load of strawberries yep. to sell at her fruit stand in Hammond. She appreciates the hard work that goes into protecting the crop. Hopefully salvages all the blooms because each bloom, there's a 28 day period for that bloom to be a berry. So if you lose those blooms, that's your next crop coming up in two or three weeks. Not to worry. The Coronas expect their berries to make it through the freeze just fine. We expect them to be wide open by, by Thursday or Friday and we're going, we should have plenty of berries for next week for Easter for everybody, and we expect them to have a good crop all the way through the festival. The Coronas tell us that Tuesday morning's freezing temperatures are just a speed bump on the way to full production by the end of the week.